please help me welcome President Selena Meyer. Selena. Hey. Wow. How about that? Hello. Hey. Hey. Thanks so much for coming. Thank you. How about this? A real president. <laughs> a real president. Oh, wow. What a crowd. This is such a lovely wow. audience. Thank you so much for being here. Well, it's it's completely my pleasure. I'm a big fan of the show, and I'm I'm very happy to finally be here. Well, you must be. This is the third time we've booked you, Madam President. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to have you here. You're so funny. You really are. And I guess third time's the charm. Let's see if it is. You know, I did want to clear the air about one thing. Sure. Um, earlier this week, you were booked on the show. You had to cancel, I which did. to us is like, you know, she's the president of the United States. Who cares? We're fine with it. You have so oh. many more important things to do. Well, thank you. Than our stupid show that no, we put together with show. scotch tape here. No, I love uh, this show. And then there was speculation that you did so because you were embarrassed about some salacious news stories about your trainer. Yes, I have to admit that um, that in sleeping with my trainer, I did not exercise good judgment. Wow. I, I can't. I, 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 I may as well... Well, you get back here. You host the show because, oh my oh, God. Maybe I can be one of your writers one day. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. If you're Thank looking you. for work. I'm... No, but listen, in the spirit of clearing the air, I do really want to say how sorry I am. Oh, please. I, I really, I really do feel bad. Believe it or not, the first time I had to cancel, I got food poisoning. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's the worst. No fun for anybody. No. And then the second time, my daughter, Catherine, who is really uh, quite pregnant oh, sure. right now, uh, and uh, she had a pretty severe health scare, and oh, I had man. to be by her side. Oh, man. Is she okay? Thank you. Um, yeah, she actually has uh, what's termed an incompetent cervix, among mm. other problems. Uh, but she's fine now. I, as a matter of fact, would it be okay if I said something to her on one of, of your cameras? Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Which uh, is one of. You know what? This one over here is okay, perfect. Okay, great, Catherine. If you are watching, sweetie, please go to bed. That's what I say. Catherine, <laughs> please go to bed. And yes. you know what? If you would please put that incompetent cervix to bed, too. We don't want that thing staying up all night. No. No, you don't, in fact. So, uh, <laughs> You know, um, I, I really feel like the bond between mother and daughter, there's nothing more powerful, Oh yes. nothing more beautiful. Actually, I believe, what is it, someone tweeted a photo of you by her bedside last night. Is that right? Can we see uh, uh, that photo, Brad? Is that is that available to us here on the, there it is. <laughs> there she is. I'm, I'm assuming that's your daughter helping you out of the Lamborghini. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Is that right? Uh, if it is, and she has a very comely beard. I uh, really like it. Well, actually she did in fact uh, have to deal with issues of facial hair at one point in her life. But, oh. but that is my friend, uh, Ambassador Jafar. Was it Catherine? Catherine, Catherine daughter, is she yes. is she in the trunk? Because I know that Lambos do not have big trunks. Boy, I'll tell you, you don't quit. You are bad. You are well, bad. she's big. That's what you say. She's huge. She is big, but you know that's what happens when you when you get pregnant. You get huge. Yeah. Um, actually, what I really would love to talk about um, is Tibet. Yeah, and absolutely, the deal Madam that President. Uh, but before there. that, just in honor of, of of your new book, oh sure, a woman first, first woman. Is that the final title, or yeah. are you? Uh... Oh yeah, that. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> it's a little pun. It is a pun, kind of. By the way, this is quite a photo on the cover. It's really thank you. Really nice. Do I need like special glasses to, to no. be able to see this in no. focus, or <laughs> how does this work? You know, it just came out today, and we yep. thought it would be fun to get some young school children out here. They'll read you some of our favorite reviews oh, of your book. Neat. Because as any parent knows, kids read the darndest things off of cue cards. That's right. So, uh, kids, could you come out here, please? Okay. Oh, yeah, very cute. Oh, cute. The New York Times says. We've been stunned by the revelations and the achievements of the Meyer presidency over the last few days. Why aren't they in the book? Ooh, yikes. A publisher's weekly calls it scattered and disjointed, much like the Meyer presidency. How many kids you got back there? I don't know, how many bad reviews did you get? <laughs> Entertainment Weekly says, the main achievement of this book is that it manages to be even more of a drag than one of Meyer's many unmemorable speeches. D minus. <laughs> The New York Post says, Remainder City. <laughs> These are great. <laughs> Rolling Stone says, I couldn't finish it, which is appropriate given that Meyer never served a full term. It's true, it's true. The New Yorker says, she's never won an election and never met a cliche she didn't like. <laughs> Can we play that game? Um, 
uh, guess what's in the bag? We actually played that last night when you were supposed to be here. Oh, it no It was kidding. super fun. Oh, yeah. shame. What was in the bag? Uh, apparently, uh, Ambassador Jafar. I don't know. Yeah. There's something, something in there. All kidding aside, we did actually, of course, receive a number of very favorable reviews. Oh yeah. Uh, yes, a number of the Tibetan papers were were uh, very supportive. That's and, great. Um, we're really happy about that. And um, just super quick, what's the language they speak in Tibet? Um, it's uh, okay. You know what? We gotta go to commercial. <laughs>